Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Nelson. How are you? Uh, I'm sleeping, teacher. <laughs> so yes. you're tired? Yes, a little tired. But I'm okay. All right. I know, I know you might be tired. A little coffee. That can help. Mm. I can't because after I, I can't sleep. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay. Well, I, I just maybe I, I can drink coffee until 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. So if you but drink coffee after that? I can't sleep after that. For real. Yes. Yeah, I totally understand. That happens to me too. I mean, if I do the same, it is impossible for me at the end. <laughs> yeah, I totally understand. Okay, well, let's resist a little bit. All right. Okay. <laughs> let's see. Welcome to the class. Hello, everyone. Who else is there? How are you today? I can see Christian, I can see Erika. Hello, Erika, how are you? How do you feel? Hmm, okay, I cannot hear you. Christian, how about you, Christian? How are you? Hello, teacher, I'm fine. How's All right. Good today? A little sleepy, but good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So, I know that the weather also affects, is it raining in your city, guys, or did it rain today? Yes, in the morning. In the morning? <laughs> yeah, in my city, too, it rained in the morning, so it was pretty cool. <laughs> I didn't want to wake up, but we have to do it. Now, let's see. Welcome, welcome, everybody. I can see only Nelson with the camera on and the others. What happened? I want to see you guys. Teacher, I can't. I am driving. Oh, okay. If you are driving, it's fine. <laughs> no worries, because I don't want you to get an accident. So be careful, please. Now let's see, I can see Ivan Holman. How about you guys? I want to see you, keep the camera on. We are going to start today's class. Just a reminder guys, don't forget the attendance. That is very important, okay? Uh, you have to attend the full class. So we are talking about two hours every single day. Okay, um, so please be careful. Also, be careful with the platform. Okay, um, I already received some messages asking why some of you haven't worked on the platform. So I don't want it to get issues with that. I can see some of you already advanced a lot. So that's pretty good. Continue, please keep working on that. Now, do you remember the topics that we studied yesterday? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> what was it? Uh, we talk about the transportation, freight transportation, and also the connection wars. Mm -hmm. Very good. Exactly. So today we are going to continue talking. Uh, we are going to learn different expressions today, very useful expressions and useful phrases that you can apply in different conversations. So everybody, remember the class is being recorded, so keep the camera on, please. All right. So we are going to start. Uh, let me share the presentation. Okay, let's see, let's see. 
Can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes. Yes? Excellent. Yes. All right. So today it's May 30th. Basically, guys, one more day and May is gone. Okay. We are about to finish that month. And today we are basically in the week number three. We continue working on the unit number two. And we are going to talk about useful expressions. Okay. That is the topic that we are going to discuss today. Useful expressions. This is our class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading it. Participants will be able to use different expressions during different types of conversations. That's the one. Thank you. So the idea, guys, is to use different scenarios. And we have to use different expressions depending on the type of a scenario that we are discussing. That is our class objective. So again, the idea is to talk a little bit more, okay? To apply the vocabulary that we know and try to speak, okay? Now, um, if you remember yesterday, we were asking and answer these questions with the idea to use at least three or four connectors, okay? So we are going to continue with it. I'm going to ask to some of you and you have to answer the question, try to give me details, try to use at least three or four connectors. Of course, if you want to use more, do it. There's no problem at all, okay? So do I have a volunteer? Ah, only one, please. These are the same questions that we practiced yesterday, so? <laughs> no volunteers? Oh my goodness, come on. Extra points for the volunteers. Okay, <laughs> if I don't have volunteers, no worries, I'm going to pick randomly, okay? So do you remember the connectors that we have been studying? Yes? A little, a little bit. A little bit? Okay. Yeah. The idea is to try to use different connectors, okay? Don't use just like uh, and, and, or but, but. No, let's try to use different ones. Okay, I'm going to pick randomly the names, everybody. So the ones that I pick needs to answer the question using as many co uh, connectors as possible. Okay, can you see the screen that I'm sharing? Yes? Yes. Okay, let's see who's the first one. Okay, uh, he's not there. So I'm going to pick someone else. Aha, Mr. Hernandez. Hello, are you there? Isabel Hernandez? Hello, Isabel, are you there? All right, guys, participate, okay? Participation is also evaluated, be careful. Okay, let's pick someone else. Um, she's listener. Mirna Elizabeth. <laughs> Hello, Mirna. No t-shirt tomorrow. <laughs> ah, come on, you can do it. Yeah. Okay, Mirna, let's see. Um, what are the advantages and disadvantages of using a mobile uh, device? Mobile device, okay. Uh, well, in in my opinion, that advant that advantage that using a mobile device is uh, uh, is a uh, a good option for connect with people and talk with others and share, for example, photos or or some information about your job, about your your personal things, etc. I think that this is uh, advantages. 
because the, the, the communication with other is good uh, it, when you're using the, the mobile. Other thing that I think that is important, uh, it is the, the, for the, the, the email. You, you have your email in your mobile phone. It's easy to check your email or maybe if, if you have a mobile phone for your company, it's easy to work from your mobile phone. It's easy to take a class in English, for example, from your mobile phone also. And then I think that a disadvantage is, in my opinion, in my personal opinion, is, is a little bit, uh, on safety, when you share a picture or when you share some information about you or personal information, because that is is a public, uh, for example, WhatsApp, the 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 data, the the data, the the data is a public, and and maybe some people can see your 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 uh, information and or for example in 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 the children is I think that is you have to to control the the, the mobile device with the children also like, and like a parental control exactly a parental control or maybe uh, you can you can uh, unlock unlock the, the 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 device for your children because the children is is the most uh, um, I don't know how to say. Is the most gestan uh, and um, is the most uh, susceptible. I don't know that that they or 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 they are the children are very um, vulnerable. Vulnerable. Yes. Okay. Sorry. This is the word vulnerable for the information that that we have in inter on internet or. Or something like that. I think that that is is good. Uh, that is more. I think that is more the more uh, advantage than disadvantage. But the disadvantage that if you have the control, you can, you can, hmm. you can do it. I think that the mobile is a is a good uh, is a good technology. Is a good thing that that the human <laughs> around the world are because the communication is easy. Ah. Of the, 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 the telephone or the mobile. So I just wonder, hmm, why if I set a timer, <laughs> you <laughs> feel afraid because you say that you won't talk a lot. And now that you don't have a timer, you're speaking a lot. So <laughs> the pressure, in my case, is the pressure. Yeah, it's the pressure. <laughs> okay, yeah. Hector, what were you saying? No, uh, you have a point. Yeah, uh, I was wondering about like it. Like a basket, uh, a tree, tree, <laughs> like a tree, tree point. <laughs> you, you shot behind the line. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I uh, know maybe because of the nervous, right? You mm -hmm. can feel the pressure is like, oh my God, I cannot do it. But I just want you to see guys that you can do it. Okay, you are totally able. So now you see that. How many connectors did Mirna use during her answer? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> A lot. Imagine. So, Mirna, very good job. You were using, like, in my opinion, for example, also, then. Okay, so we can do it, guys. So, if you see, Mirna wasn't speaking like running. No, she was speaking fluently, but not so fast, not so slow. And that's the idea. Okay? Pretty good job, you are doing great. Now let's continue, let's see who's next. But before uh, checking the next person, I'm going to check attendance. So everybody, when you listen to your names, you know what to do, say present. Um, Adriana Escalante. Present. Okay. Carlos Abrego. Carlos Abrego. Okay, very good. Christian Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. 
Erika, oh, she's listener. Eh, Fátima Denise. Present teacher. Very good. Germán Alexander. Present teacher. All right. Héctor Francisco. Present teacher. Very good. Isabel Hernández. Present. All right. Iván Guzmán. Present. Okay. Jamie Raquel. Present. All right. Holman Giron. Present. Pretty good. Lucy Natalie. Present teacher. Okay. Magdaleno Escalante. Ah, he's not there. Uh, Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Pretty good. Nelson Antonio. Nelson Present. Antonio. Okay, very good. Uh, Oscar Armando. Oscar, no? And Rosalina Alvarado. All right, very good. So let's continue. I'm going to pick someone else. Remember, fluent, don't run, and just relax. It's a conversation. Let's see. Okay, Rosalina is not here. Nelson, okay. Nelson, are you ready? No, teacher. <laughs> ah, come <laughs> on. No, I'm not ready, but anyway, right? We have to do it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's see. Um, Let me pick easy, one teacher, question. Easy. easy, okay. Do you think computer games are good or bad for children? Well, in my opinion, uh, computer games is not good for for children or or maybe for everybody because uh, the the computer game games uh, you uh, spend a a lot of time and also you can you can use the computer for important things maybe looking information about your work, about, about over homework, and another thing. So I think computer game is, is not good for children. They can use computer for another thing. But I I think they, they they can play games on computer sometimes after after they their homework or or I think they they can spend their time playing another thing. This is my opinion. And very good, nice. How many connectors did Nelson use? My opinion. Uh huh. How many? I don't know. But <laughs> some. A lot. Very <laughs> good. Yeah, Nelson. You said that you weren't ready, but you did it great. Nice job. So you were using, in my opinion, because also, even I liked it because you use so, okay, but I think a lot of connectors. Very good job. Very good job. So you see, guys, you can do it. Okay, so the secret is just calm down, relax, and just try to analyze what you are saying. Okay, is there any question, guys, about these connectors? Yes, no? 
Okay, now before continue, we are going to have another speaking practice, but before continue guys, uh, I want to tell you uh, about the next enroll or la siguiente eh, inscripción. Eh, me pidieron que les comentara. Eh, hay una fecha límite para la inscripción y es hasta el 12 de junio, ¿ok? Así que eh, ya están en el proceso de reinscripción. Así que, please, pendientes, everybody, de ya empezar a llenar lo que son los formularios que les pasan a ustedes siempre. Um, una fecha tentativa para el inicio sería el 19 de junio. Así que entre más rápido se logren llenar todos los documentos, más rápido se estaría iniciando el nuevo nivel. Así que acá dice, um, se está solicitando el formulario de inscripción. Más fotocopia de la planilla del mes de abril 2023 cancelada. Así que eh, be careful, mantengamos siempre ahí la disposición para llenar rápido los requisitos y que así se puedan inscribir al siguiente nivel. Got it? Okay. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Uh, I have a doubt. Mm -hmm. But when when finish this this level, the date. Ok, this one en el que estamos ahorita eh, estaría culminando, if I'm not wrong, let me see. Ok, let's see, porque es que ya tengo una fecha tentativa, pero exactamente, let me check. Quiero darle el día exacto. Si todo va bien... Right. Nosotros estaríamos culminando el 16 de junio. Ok. So, Vaya, 16 de junio. Entonces, usted dice que entonces iniciaríamos 19 el siguiente, tres días, it, dos días después. It depends. Por eso les digo, si es, esa es una fecha tentativa. Todo depende de con la agilidad con la que todos se inscriban. Right? Si todos presentan los documentos de la inscripción a tiempo. Por eso se les está pidiendo desde ya um, que empiecen el proceso de inscripción. Que no lo dejen a última hora para que así entre más rápido todos estén listos, más rápido se inicie el curso. Pero si se empiezan a trazar, en ese caso la fecha de inicio se empezaría a tardar más. ¿Ok? Ok. Pretty good. So, any questions about it? Yes? No? No, thank you, teacher. All right. Very good. So, let's continue now. We are continue talking about the connectors. Vamos a practicar los connectors, but in a very easy way. So, everybody can talk. Can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes. Yes? Pretty good. So. Yes. Do you remember the vocabulary about daily routine? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah, all right. Do you remember? Yes, everyone? A little a little bit, but we remember. <laughs> a little. <laughs> a little bit? <laughs> all right. So this is what we are going to do. I want you to describe your days, okay? but using connectors, all right? Listen, we have different type of connectors, but no solamente vamos a usar los de sequence, like, and, then, later, no. I want you to try to include different types of connectors. For example, you can say, okay, I start my day waking up early, although I don't like it. I don't like to get up early, but I have to do it. Later, I take a shower. Normally the water is very cold. However, that helps me to wake up fast. After I got dressed and I comb my hair. I have to prepare my own breakfast and 
I don't have to go to work because I work from home. So just in these little sentences, how many connectors did I use? Teacher. Mm -hmm. And and the I start work. I I can I can say uh, I I start work. Oh, actually, yes. In this case, it depends of your intention. Remember that the word work has two meanings. It can be taken as a noun or it can be taken as a verb. So if you say, I start work, that it's saying, yo empiezo mi trabajo. I'm using work as a noun. But if I say, I start to work, I'm using work as a verb. So the translation will be, yo empiezo a trabajar. The two are okay. Yeah, both of them. Yes. Okay. okay. Pretty good. Okay. So the idea is to use connectors. If you see, when I was describing it, I was trying to use different type of connectors. So if you say that uh, you don't take a shower, <laughs> you can explain why you don't do that. Okay. Or you can add extra information. We already know the connectors that we can use to add information, all right? So that is what I want you to do. You can use the vocabulary that is here, or I mean, you can use different ones. This is just in order that you remember. But if you want to say different things, you can do it. There's no problem at all. What I need is that you use the connectors. Is it clear? Everyone? Yes? Yes. Pretty yes. good. Okay, I'm going to give you uh, three minutes. You can think about your routine. You can try to organize your ideas. And then we are going to share the information, okay? You have three minutes. Try to organize your ideas. Try to think about the connectors. And then we are going to practice. If you have a question about something, about vocabulary or any other thing, just let me know. You have three minutes. If you have a question, just let me know, please. Try to give as many details as possible, guys. You can include another vocabulary. You can include the time. You can include the reason why you do that action. You can include sentences in negative too, no problem. One more minute, think about your answers.
Okay, are you ready, everybody? No, teacher. Not yet? No. All right, think about it. It's not necessary to write everything. I want you to try to just organize your ideas. Try to write the vocabulary that you feel you can forget. Think about it. Try to organize your ideas. Remember, I want you to use connectors. I will give you one more minute. Go ahead. Teacher. Yes. Uh, I always confuse with arrive. I mm -hmm. I can I can use arrive to arrive to work. Yes, you can do it. Remember, guys, okay. that arrive is basically llegar, llegar a un lugar. So, el lugar puede cambiar. So, I arrive home. I arrive to my job. So, el place can be different. There's no problem. But, in, but uh, not in questions. In questions, what do you mean? When I, I, I can say, how can how can I write? Ah, okay. Yes. What happens there in this case, guys, and that's a good one. Pay attention here. Arrive, as we said, is like llegar. Okay, llegar a un lugar. But the most common, actually, arrive is not so common. Instead, we can use the verb get. Remember that in English, I mean, get, it's a little complicated. Get can have different meanings depending on the context. So instead of saying, how can I arrive to the airport, for example, instead of saying arrive, the most common one is how can I get to the airport? Okay, the meaning is exactly the same. Both are correct. However, the most common one is get. Okay, because American people, I don't know exactly why, but they use get for almost everything. It's like I get dressed. dressed. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. So they can use mm -hmm. get in different scenarios, different meaning. That's why get is a little complicated verb. I but the meaning is the same. Uh -huh. I, can, I, can't, I can't say I wear. Hmm. Um, I just uh, I get dressed. Oh, like this, get rested? No, That's dressed, what I mean? Dressed, oh, dressed. I get dressed. This one? Uh -huh, dressed. Mm -hmm. what when, when okay. In this case, guys, this is the key. Pay attention, everybody. Um, if you use get, you can combine get with the adjective in order that the adjective becomes a verb. For example, how can I say enojado? Angry. 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 How can I say se enojó? How can I say that? It got angry. Exactly. So we say got 
angry and simple past. En presente, enojarse. How can I say that? Enojarse. Get angry. Look, exactly. So estoy combinando get plus the adjective. So the adjective can be a verb. The same case is with I get dressed. Dressed is the adjective. Vestido o cambiado, como le quieran decir. So I need the action vestirse. What do I need to do? I just need to add get. Get dressed is the verb. Y así podemos hacerlo in different scenarios, guys. For example, there is another one that is very common. Married. Married is the adjective. What is the meaning of married? Casado. Casado Casado or casada. So I need the action. Necesito que este adjective se transforme en un verb. What do I need to do? Add get. Get married. Yes? So if you combine get with the adjective, the adjective can transform into a verb. Got it? Yes? What is translation to get married? Casarse. Casarse. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, the adjective is before the verb, right? Exactly. If you remove get, it's just married. Married is the adjective that in this case is casado. Por eso decimos, ah, I am married. So that is the adjective. So if you add get, you can say, I get married. Or in simple past, I got married. So in this case, married is no longer an adjective, is a verb. Yes, is that clear? Yes, I get married, me caso. I got married, me casé. Yes, correct. I get married is in present, I got married is in past. Simple as that. Any other question, guys, that you may have with the vocabulary? No? Okay, now we're going to share our daily routine with our classmates. For this activity, we only have five minutes, everyone. So I wanted to go to the breaking rooms. Share your daily routine with your classmates. Say as many details as possible. And the most important thing, use connectors. Now, when your classmate is talking, the rest of the group, write the connectors that your classmate is using. So when he finishes, you can tell them, okay, you use because, although, and, and that's it. So try to use more, okay? Anoten todos los connectors que su classmate va diciendo y luego le dicen the connectors that they used. Got it? Yes? Any questions? Clear, clear. Any questions before going to the rooms? No. No? Okay, pretty good. So let's go. There are some people, guys, that they are listeners. Okay, so uh, if you are in a group that nobody is talking, just let me know and I will switch you to another team. No worries. Just let me open up uh, the team. Give me a second. Okay, pretty good, let's go to work. All right, your classmates are not here yet. We are going to wait. If they don't, oh yes, they are here. Yes. 
Yo iba. Hello, Fátima. Hello, Isabel. Wait. I start. Where'd you go? First lady. Always. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, when I go to the office, I start my day wake up late sometimes. And, and get up, get up. And before I take a fast shower and then I dressed and comb my hair. Also, I go to my work. So when I arrive to the office, turn on my computer and go for a coffee cup. Well, sometimes at the eight o'clock, go for a pupusas that are sold next to the office. Okay. okay in my case, all right, hold on, hold on. Okay, I love it. The, uh, Fatima. Guys, how many connectors did she use? I, I count down um, six. Which ones? Then, uh, also. Uh huh. Um, thanks. And remember. <laughs> all right. Remember, you have to write them down. All the connectors that your classmate is saying, you have to write them down. In this case, Fatima, I listened to many ones before it and then also so well. So a lot of, I liked it. Very good mm. job. <laughs> Easy or difficult? Difficult. <laughs> Why? But you are doing great. <laughs> All right. You just need to think a little bit more, right? Analyze what you are saying, but you are doing great. Very good. Now, uh, let's continue, Ivan. But everybody, please take note of the connectors that your classmate is using. Okay? Pretty good. Okay, okay Ivan, go ahead. Okay, I, I wake up. 6 a.m. In, in, in the morning. I, I take a shower uh, and then uh, take a breakfast. My favorite breakfast is um, eggs and bananas, latans. <laughs> Uh, also, uh, I I dress get get dressing get dressing. Um, well, I prepare my my lunch. Prepare my lunch. Um, in the seconds. Um. Take uh, the keys with my take a keys uh, key in my cars. I only <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tell him which connectors did he use? Five. Okay, can you tell him which ones? He say and then also well and second. All right, very good. So Ivan, you see, you said five connectors. Is your difficult? <laughs> <laughs> now 
at the beginning is difficult because we are not used to, right? But with the practice, it will be easier. And now when you are speaking in that way, it sounds more natural, okay? It sounds more fluent because instead of saying, eh, mm, este, quiero ver, no, en lugar de eso estamos metiendo connectors. So then, later, so, well, so that sound much better, okay? You are doing great, guys. Excellent job. So keep going. Uh, who's next? Holman. Okay, Holman, Holman. go ahead. Hi. Um, okay. Four, four, five, 45 a.m. And I, I hate, I hate wake up very early, but I have no option. And after that, I, I get up and I go to the, I go to take a, a shower. I think that, I think take a shower is, is important to your presentation. Then I I get dressed and I comb my my, my hair be, before to to have breakfast and after that I I brush my my teeth I think that is correct I brush my my teeth. And I I go to my my work. Hmm. Only that, my friend. Only that. What, right. is, what is the translation, <laughs> teacher? <laughs> hey, uh huh. What is the translation of? Uh huh. Of media. Like uh, if you have a five, four, and three, you can calculate the media. In, in Spanish, it's media, promedio, average. average. Average, yeah. The average, we, we use an average five connector. Which one? Okay. Hmm? Sorry? Which, which connectors did he use? Uh, in uh, German, use because then um, af after that, I think, I don't remember, but um, I, in, in my count, use uh, five. And Nelson use five, use when, and after that, I think then in another, I forget, forgot. All another. right. So, guys, you are using a lot of connectors. Very good. Easy German, or difficult? A little difficult. Mm -hmm. Yes, because mm -hmm. you, you have to, to think about the connector. You, you have to uh, speak in your daily routine. And also, you have to uh, thinking about the connector. I know. It's difficult we are not used to, right? That's because it's difficult, because we don't used to talk like that. But now you sound more fluent, okay? Because instead of saying, eh, mm, quiero ver, este, eh, no, en lugar de eso, ¿qué estamos haciendo? Llenamos ese espacio con connectors. I think... So, well, so you see, it sounds more yes. fluent. I know that it's difficult, but with the practice, we are going better, okay? You will be great. So keep practicing, all right? Okay, teacher. Now, director already passed? Sorry? Hector, Hector already mm -hmm. shared? German, it's German. Uh, Herman Alexander. No. Okay, Herman already did it. Yes? Yes, mm -hmm. in Hector 2. In Hector 2. So all yes. of you already passed. 
Yes. yes. Ah, okay. I'm going to check one more team and then we are going to go back to the main room. Okay? Okay. okay. Pretty good. Thank you. Exercise. And then take my take, take my my dinner. Um I, I don't know what interesting activity I can add to my daily <laughs> daily daily activity. Also I have to care my mom because he, she is sick, very sick. Um, however, I am tired, uh, but I have to do it, so I do. Um, I always, I, 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 I wait for the class. <laughs> uh, a p.m. and I start to class only class online. This <laughs> and this is this is all. Oh my God! You have a <laughs> a, a busy routine every day because you wake up very very early. Oh my very God! Early. Yeah. yeah. And, and how many <laughs> how hard. many connectors did she use? I take a note because then one, two, then and let's see until return also one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, <laughs> Jamie, a lot of connectors. <laughs> Pretty good. Easy or difficult? A little difficult. <laughs> All right, but you are doing great, guys. Super good, I liked it. So it's difficult at the beginning because we are not used to it, All right? But later with the practice, it will be easier. So now every time that you speak, please try to include the connectors, okay? Did everybody already pass? No. No. Okay. Continue, please. Okay, it's my turn. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna try it. <laughs> well, do you do do you have hip cup? Yes. Or no? Oh, I still have hip cup, but I'm gonna try. Okay. Um, let me think. Um, my daily routine. In a few words, um, in the first place, I wake up at five a.m. because I'm I'm work far away in my home. So as Jamie, I need to be really early. Um, I need to go away my home really early because the traffic is terrible. <laughs> so even I wake up 5 a.m. However, I get up 30 minutes later because I'm sleepy. <laughs> so um, after that, I take a shower and then I always... Um, I take my breakfast before to go to my job because I need to to have something something to eat to be strong <laughs> because if I don't have breakfast I feel weak and on my way to to job then um, I work to a or a a.m. to four p.m. And in all this time, I try to do all my job, try to check or to complete the the um, the things that I need to do in my work. And I try to be not stressful because I'm feel tired if I feel in stress with the things that I do that I do. And after that, um. I take a lunch. I try to to meet new people because in my job I need to be in contact with a lot of people. And then after my work, um, again I'm in uh, in traffic again. <laughs> I pass a lot of time in my life in traffic, uh, by the way. But then um, I arrive to my home 
and then I received these online classes of English and that's all. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have to go to bed. <laughs> yes, to bed. So how many connectors? Many connector, <laughs> a few pairs, so even and then before because after that. <laughs> oh my gosh, so you see, you are doing great. Very good, I like that. And you have a difficult day too. You always are very busy, girls. I know, it's difficult, right? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I imagine. imagine. Yeah, I it, imagine it, that it's hard because the traffic is is hard. That affects a lot. Yeah, yeah those tired. are those are some of the advantages to work from home, <laughs> right? It's a blessing to, <laughs> to avoid traffic. Uh, yeah, I just remember the days before the quarantine when I had to go to work. <laughs> so yeah, that's terrible. Okay, who's next? We are finished. You're finished? Okay, yes. very good. Okay, let's go back to the main room. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, time's up. Let's wait for your classmates. They are still in the breaking rooms. Let's go back everyone. Let's go back, let's go back. Okay, let's wait for your classmates. Okay, easy or difficult, the practice, what do you think? Uh-huh. It's a little bit difficult because we have in our mind, I think it's my opinion, we have in our mind just two or three connector that is the most common. This is the, maybe is the issue that we have when, when try to speak. And, um, With and different that, ones. Yes, but yeah. yeah that but happens. The, Yes. Yes, because imagine in this case, right? Most of the time, if you want to add information, we say just and, 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 and we just repeat the same. If you want to express contrast, we say but, 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 and only but. If you exactly. want to, yes, just yeah. two or three we have in our mind. <laughs> exactly. If you are expressing sequence, we only say then, then, and then. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's why it's difficult. But that's the idea, guys, to learn more vocabulary, but use it. Okay. So it's hard, I know, but because we are not used to. The more exactly. you practice, the more it will be easier. Yes? Uh, and our group say little by little, the English is turned, turn, I say, is sophisticated uh, because you, and it's necessary to use a verb, good verb in past, in future, in present, and use the, if, if necessary, make a question if it's uh, use the past, continuous, present, uh, and then now use a connector for this connects all the 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 phrase. Okay. And yeah. here is difficult, but mm -hmm. I understand it's necessary to get a uh, good English. <laughs> and Fluent that's, English. And that is the idea in the intermediate level. You already know grammar. I mean, you already know the structure of the sentences, right? What do we need to do now? Improve it, okay? In, in this scenario, think about um, if you are doing handcraft. Do you know what handcraft is? Handcraft. No? Como mm. manualidades, handcraft? Mm. 
Ok, mm. cuando empiezan a hacer una manualidad, primero que se hace, ok, van colocando los rasgos más grandes, por decirlo así. And later, you start to fix like the small details. Ok, y esos small details son lo que hacen que un half craft se vea super elegant and beautiful. That is exactly this, what happens in English. Beginners level, ¿qué hicieron en beginners? Aprenderse la estructura del simple present, el simple past, el future. ¿Qué hacemos aquí en el intermediate? Learn vocabulary para que nuestro speaking suene un poquito mejor. Right? A little bit more elegant. That is the purpose in this level. In the advanced level, well, that's another business. Ya van a descubrir de qué se trata ese. Okay? Do you want to go to the advanced level? Yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Holman, do you want to go to the advanced level? Yes. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Yeah, guys, come on. You are doing great. Okay. I'm trying to help you in order that you get, I mean, get confidence and go already to the uh, advanced level. Now, Richard, yes? Richard, the solution, the solutions, maybe we must go live in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, of course, that will be great. <laughs> but if we don't have the opportunity to go and live there. I mean, at least here we need to try to do our best. I was checking guys on um, Play Store. There are some apps that helps you to speak with some other people. So if you get curious, you can check the Play Store or if you got an iPhone, the Apple Store, just write speak English and there will be different options of apps. You just have to pick the ones that you prefer. Those apps can help you to talk with other people. So if you are curious, check and you can try it. Okay. Sure. The app is speaking with others. Yes. Oh. Actually, I had one. I mean, I was checking one. I, I didn't download it. But um, there are some apps, guys, that you decide. There is an app that you can chat online with some other people. There are some apps that uh, you can receive phone calls. And the great thing is that, I mean, it's not about um, phone calls to your phone number. No, it's a phone call like in your app they will no. never get your personal phone call, your personal information. So it's just in the app, okay? Um, is so, it free or we have to pay something for monthly payment? No, it's free. Or as no? long as I know it's free. Okay. Yeah. So um, I don't have the app right here, but... Yeah, I cannot find it on my computer. But you can just go and check the Play Store. You can find them there. There are a lot. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Just be careful to check, speak, because that is what you need. In this case, you don't need like a lot of grammar. No, basically what you need, guys, is just to practice. Okay? Teacher. Mm -hmm. And is that bad, the app? The application is now Hello Talk. Um, hello, the ones that is green and, and blue, I guess. Uh, okay. Let's see. I, I don't know if, look at this one. This is one. Look. I don't remember. Yes, I think the name is Hello. <laughs> Just Hello. My so look, this board. one, this one is for messages. So basically, you get communicated with people well, Some of with them, a native speaker or native um, with um, the american persons. accent uh-huh mm -hmm. that's the idea okay and but this is for chatting and you can try it i mean it works for you so you can try so um as i recommend i just wanted to be a little bit curious guys 
Take advantage of the English. Take advantage of the internet. There are different apps that you can download so you can use it. Also, I recommend you guys to listen to videos on YouTube or I don't know, the platforms that you preferred in English. Watch series in English, music in English, get surrendered by everything in English. Okay? Teacher. Yes? The voa, voa is voice of American, I don't know, I don't know what is the, the name, how uh, uh, or they transmit news in English and and they say uh, have a how uh, say have a um, como una parte for for English uh, level in intermi intermediate 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 uh -huh. the voice and A B C from London all right and, uh, if uh, I try trial here but in the the A B ABC is very, no, it is, it's very complicated for me. What happened is the accent. Mm -hmm. Because it's for it Britain, I mean, the accent is different. They are British. So British, yeah, it's uh -huh. gonna be a different one. Different. A little difficult, yes. So mm -hmm. yeah, but you can try with all the ones. Just try the ones that it works for you guys. Let's start with the simple. Let's start with the easiest one. Something that helped me, it's watching animated movies or kids movies. Do you like Shrek? Do you like fun, Finding Nemo? Yes. <laughs> Do watch it in English. I mean, las películas para niños no tienen un lenguaje tan complicado because they are for kids. You can watch the movies in English and it will be easier for you. So try, let's start with those ones and you will see that it, you, it's going to work. Okay? Cartoon. Now, questions about the connectors? Yes? No? Okay, continue practicing the connectors. Okay? Try to study them, try to learn more because here in the class, we are going to continue practicing them. Okay? It's not just for day, it's for always and forever. Okay? Now, we are going to continue. Remember that the purpose for this class is to learn different expressions. So now we are going to check some expressions of uncertainty. Do you remember the expressions that we learned about certainty and uncertainty? Yes? Yes, the expression is negative, uncertainty. Uh -huh. Can you give me examples, guys? The ones that you remember? I don't think. I don't think. I don't think, I don't think so. About, I, I don't think so. Uh, oh, I don't. Or? I'm not I, sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh huh. Don't doubt about it. I don't. Don't doubt about it. Yes, don't doubt about it. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? Uh -huh. That's why we need to practice every day. Because if we don't practice every day the phrases, we forgot. So we're going to review the uh, uncertainty expressions, but today we are going to check some others, very common phrases. And in this class, we are going to use these ones. This information is on your manuals. So everybody, if you got your manuals with you, let's open it up. I'm going to try to do it bigger. So here in your manuals, we are going to see different expressions of uncertainty. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the definition. Uh-huh. One okay. volunteer. Yes, please, Me? go ahead. Okay. Expressions of uncertainty are used when you need to say that you are not certain about something. 
or that some things may or may not be true or when you have incomplete knowledge about a situation. Thank you. So this is the opposite of when you feel pretty sure, okay? This is like, you don't know if something is real, you are not pretty sure about something, okay? So we're going to see different types and pay attention, especially in the punctuation mark. Let's start with the expressions that need a comma, okay? For example, look at the phrase, wouldn't like to say this for certain. What do you think? What is the meaning of that phrase? I wouldn't like to say this for certain. No me gustaría que esto fuera verdad. Lo que estoy diciendo fuera verdad. Mm, okay. What about you guys? Do you agree or do you have another idea? Uh -huh. How would you translate this phrase? I wouldn't like to say this for certain. Hmm. Como no me gustaría lo que lo que dice sea cierto o verdad. Mm, okay. Anyone else? The Google Translator says, no me gustaría decir eso con certeza. <laughs> All right. Similar. In Spanish, lo decimos así en Spanish, no me gustaría decir esto con certeza. ¿Lo decimos así? No. Uh, imagine when you are not pretty sure about something. Okay, you don't know exactly if something is pretty sure, but someone asks you your opinion. So what do we say? Ay, no me gustaría decir esto con certeza. Mm. How can we say that? How? We can say, mm, no estoy seguro, or no quisiera darlo por... Hecho. Por hecho, por sentado. Why? Because we are not pretty sure about it. So remember, in this case, esta frase is not translated literal, like word by word. We can try to find the way that we say it in Spanish. So in this case, it's like, mm, no me gustaría darlo por hecho. No me gustaría darlo por sentado, right? Because we are not pretty sure. Now, if you use this phrase, if you are writing, what happens here? What do I need after that phrase? Uh -huh. Coma. I need coma. a coma, okay? So if you are typing or writing, don't forget to add a coma. So I need a volunteer, please, for reading the complete paragraph. I wouldn't like to say, uh-huh. Could I teach you? Yes, please. I wouldn't like to say this for certain, but the current final financial situation may lead to layoff. Continue. Yes. Oh, did we get any report or when they accept the product? Very good. So, I wouldn't like to say this for certain, okay? I'm not pretty sure. Imagine if I say, mm, let's see. Okay, let's try to talk about this tough topic. Guys, do you think that uh, we will have the same president for another period? Imagine if you are not pretty sure, how would you answer? Try to answer using this phrase. What would you say? 
I would like to say this for certain. <laughs> <laughs> you would or wouldn't? <laughs> It's a right? Just exhibit, all right? <laughs> pronunciation. I have a problem Golondrin, with that for my pronunciation. <laughs> what do you say, Golondri uh, go Golondrina? Eh? <laughs> Golondrino. Okay. Go oh my gosh. Okay, but that's good. Okay, that's a word. How can I say that in English? Let's see. Extra point for the one who say that without go to Google. <laughs> uh huh. Fear. Um, but that is like in general, but specifically the golondrina. Do you know that? Mm -mm. No. No. Swallow. What? Yeah. What? Swallow. Swallow. Uh, yeah, like Swallow. this. Double. Yeah. Double. Swallow. Swallow. Yeah. Swallow. You are a swallow. swallow. man. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. This is when we don't feel pretty sure about something. Imagine if I say, hey guys, um, we are going to have a surprise exam tomorrow, right? How would you answer? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Using this one. I wouldn't <laughs> like to say this for certain. Uh -huh, very good. I wouldn't like to say this for certain, but I, my teacher, I, I believe her, <laughs> All right? Don't forget to continue with the sentence. Especially when we are using this phrase, we need to provide a contrast, okay? No me gustaría darlo por sentado, Pero ta, 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 and you continue talking. So, is it clear the meaning of this phrase? Yes? Yes. Everybody, clear? Yes. Okay, write it down. We are going to use it. Yes? Lay off. Okay, lay off. Lay Everybody, off. have you ever heard that phrase before? If you don't do your job in a better way, if you are not responsible, if you are always getting late, what will happen? Uh -huh. We can be despedidos. Exactly. So that is the meaning of layoff. All right. Maybe Thank say you. goodbye. <laughs> yeah. You will say Thank goodbye. You. Exactly. Thank you for your participation. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah. Thank this you for is... coming. <laughs> Don't call us. We will call you. <laughs> Teacher, but uh, okay. another it's... another word for despedido will be fired. Yes. Um. And I'm seeing that word in some series or movies. Fire. Yeah. You are fired. Yes. <laughs> and that one actually is the most common one. This one laid off, it's like a noun, okay? Despidos. If you want to use it as the verb, we use the ones that she mentioned. Fired. Like you're fired. Okay. Fired. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very good. Okay, let's continue. The another phrase that we can use when you are not pretty sure about something is not to my knowledge. Again, if you use this one and if you're writing, don't forget the comma. Not to my knowledge. Hmm, what will be the translation here? No tengo conocimiento. No que yo sepa. No que yo That right. is the one. Not, yeah. not in my concern will be a, a, synonym. a synonym. Yes, synonym. that's correct. So imagine if I say, guys, um, let me think. Do you think El Salvador will? <laughs> I don't. I I can think in an example. Let's see. Do you think El Salvador will be in the next World Cup? 
<laughs> not, to my <laughs> not to my knowledge. And the and the other and the other okay? and the other age and the other <laughs> uh, so uh, uh, <laughs> we are not pretty sure, right? So you can say, well, not to my knowledge. I think that maybe in 100 years <laughs> we can try. It. Okay, so not to my knowledge, exactly as your classmate said. No que yo sepa. Okay. Now, how about as far as I know? What would it be this one? Any idea? Microphones, be careful. Uh huh. Teacher, what? Yes. Like, uh, lejos de, lo, de, mi, de mi entendimiento, lejos de mi, de lo que yo sé, no sé. Algo así. Mm, close. O Just sea que está muy, muy lejano a, a que yo lo, lo sepa. Ok. How can we say that in Spanish? Por lo que yo sé o por hasta lo donde sé. Hasta, hasta exactly. donde sé. Exactly. Very good. So this is like, well, hasta donde sé. Right? Hasta donde tengo entendido. So this is the phrases that you can use. For example, imagine if I say, do you think, guys, COVID is over? What would you say? As far as, as, I, know. Far as, as I know, the uh -huh. COVID is uh, finished. It's over? It's, uh, right, it's over. Okay, so you see? It's over in El Salvador. <laughs> Only in El Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> Only in El Salvador. Mm, are you sure about it? <laughs> <laughs> so imagine if you don't feel pretty sure you are not 100% sure about that. So you can say, mm, as far as I know, talking about the COVID, right? Mm, as far as I know, COVID is still with us. What happens is that it's not so strong or news are not talking about it. Okay. So, as far as I know, is it clear the difference between not to my knowledge and as far as I know? Yes. Yes, everybody? Not to my knowledge is, 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 is true, not to my knowledge. Is, uh, mm, no que yo sepa is, is that, that you say, que no sabes, that you say is not, I don't know. Similar, almost. Similar. It's as far not... as I know, is uh -huh. you don't know, you don't know what happened, or 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 or, or yes, are you are are you sure that when you use as far as I know? Okay, this is. I mean, don't say it like I don't know. Remember that this one is not definitely, right? As far as I know, mm, as on the yo sé. So basically, you are saying that the information is not true. That's what you mean? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. but remember, it's not 100% sure. So, hasta donde se, when you say that phrase, the information can be true or not. So, we, we are not totally confident about it. And if you use the other one, right, even though the information you are not pretty sure about it. It can be or not, okay? Okay, thank you. Very good. Okay, did you copy the expressions? As far as I know, not to my knowledge, and I wouldn't like to say this for certain. Did you copy them? Yes? Okay, let's move on to the next ones. Take note because we are going to use them. Now, what happens with the next? These ones are phrases that you already know. For example, I doubt. What is that? Lo dudo. Lo dudo. Lo dudo. Lo dudo, right? Guys, do you think that tomorrow is going to rain? What do you think? I doubt. I, doubt. <laughs> I doubt it, right? I don't think so. So that is the meaning for that phrase. Now, how about the next one? It's very unlikely. Hmm, what is that? Mm -hmm. 
Muy probable. The opposite. Ah, un... poco probable. Yes. <laughs> Improbable. No te creo. <laughs> Now, look at this. We need to check the difference between likely and unlikely. Mm -hmm. If you say it's very likely, this is positive. That means es muy probable, probable. right? Pero esa ya no sería uncertain. In that case, it will be Certain sure. phrase. Yeah, thank you. So, unlikely is like negative. You don't have a lot of possibilities. So, guys, um, will rain tomorrow? Mm, it's very unlikely. Okay. Um, is El Salvador going to the World Cup? <laughs> uh, I doubt it, but I mean. <laughs> Let's keep faith, but it's very unlikely. Understood? Yes? Yes. If you are writing these phrases, they don't need a comma, okay? These phrases are pretty easy to use. They don't need a comma. So is it clear the difference, guys? Is it clear what unlikely means? Yes? Questions? This is the moment. Sure. Yes? Uh, and this, in this case, uh, I don't know, is good, uh, uh, use uh, very or pretty. Pretty unlikely is different. Not really. Remember that very and pretty, they are just synonyms. So Syn you can synonym. say, mm -hmm. it's very unlikely or it's pretty unlikely. The same, you can use both. But when, when I use a pretty unlikely, it's for friend conversation, uh, conversation. Mm -hmm. And very unlikely is I, I may be used for Uh, polite? Not really. No. Not really. In this case, guys, very or pretty, because they are just adverbs in this scenario, they are just synonyms. It's not affecting if the conversation is more formal or if the conversation is with a friend. No, you can use both. There's no problem at all. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Pretty good. Okay. Did you copy the phrases, everyone? Yes. Okay, I hope so because we are going to use them. In this moment, let's see some sentences and you have to tell me what is the correct one. Let's see if you memorize them. Look at the first one. Can you see the sentences? Yes. 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 I wouldn't like to say this. What is the correct one? For certain? Or I wouldn't like to say this, it's very likely. For certain. For certain. For certain. Yes. Are you sure? For certain. Uh -huh. Yes, we are sure. Ah. <laughs> All right, I liked it. Okay. Uh, how about the number two? Volunteer for reading, please. Did the manager finish evaluators the three PMs available? Uh -huh. This is a question, right? Did, Did the manager finish evaluating the three PLs available? What will be the best option here? Not in no. my knowledge or not to my knowledge? No. Not, not to, my, to knowledge. my knowledge. Ah, very good. In no. the number three, what will be the correct one? No. Doubt I it doubt. or I doubt it? I doubt it. I doubt it. You sure? Yes. Yes. Ah, yes. very good. Number four, volunteer for reading, please. Can I do sure? Yes, please. To the best of my knowledge or not to my knowledge, we have increased customer satisfaction. 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 
Uh -huh, everyone. To the best of my knowledge. Not to my knowledge. Mm -hmm. And what do you think is the meaning of the best of my knowledge? To the best. Because if you see, it's like we have the opposite. Not to my knowledge. What was the meaning of not to my knowledge? Do you remember? No que yo sepa. No que yo sepa. So look at this. How about the best of my knowledge? What do you think? What is the meaning of that? Any idea? Hasta donde yo sepa. Sounds good. Hasta donde yo sé. Mm -hmm. sí. Close, close. Para What else? Conocer, para conocer mejor. Mm, but it's different. We don't say that in Spanish. ¿Cómo lo decimos in Spanish? Ajá. Según. Mi opinión. Según mi experiencia. Okay. Según, se, según hasta donde sé. Imagine in this case. <laughs> según, según sé, right? Okay. Según entiendo. So, the best of my knowledge is another phrase. So, this is like, mm, según sé, or según entiendo. Según me di cuenta, right? Ah, those are the phrases that we use. <laughs> da, ese ya es chambre, right? Ah. Desde que empiezan con esa frase, ya sabemos que es un chambre, ¿ok? So, según sé, según entiendo, right? So, what would be the best option here? The best of my knowledge, we have increased customer satisfaction or... Not to my knowledge, we have increased customer supervisors. What do you think? To the best of my knowledge. To the best is... of my knowledge. Ah, yeah. so you see how the sentence change? Be careful. Now in the number five, what will be the correct answer? Volunteer for reading? Only one. Yes, please go ahead. It's very unlikely, or as far as I know, for a small company to require logistic global service. Thank you. Aha, uh -huh, guys. It's very unlikely, or as far as I know. It's very unlikely. unlikely. Okay. Do you agree, everybody? Yes. Why? Why uh, do you think that is very unlikely instead of as far as I know? I think uh, the the better option is is as far as I know. Okay. For And me, it's as far as I know. For me, it's very unlikely. Why? <laughs> Because you are talking about that the company requires logistic global service and you say, eh, lo dudo, <laughs> or dudo that for a small company to require logistic global services. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's the best option. And remember, guys, the keywords, remember what the rule says. If I use, as far as I know, I need a coma. If I use is very unlikely, do I need a comma? No. 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 So what happens in the sentence? You don't have any comma. Ah, so look. I don't have a comma. The meaning much. So that is the correct one. It's very unlikely for a small company to require logistic global services. Okay. Now, is it clear the meaning? Of all of these phrases, everyone? Do you have any question about the meaning? Nope, yes? No. Okay, if you don't have questions, 
I do, okay? I will ask. I have here four scenarios. I want you to choose the topics that you want, okay? And in this case, I just want you to answer using the phrases, okay? Got it? Hey, can you see what I'm sharing? No. Okay. Sorry. Let me share it again. Hey, what about now? Can you see it? Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So, um, for example, the next World Cup. <laughs> what will happen? Try to answer using the uncertainly words. Go ahead. Uh-huh. Do you think El Salvador will go? Or do you think United States will be the winner? So I wanted to discuss this topic using those phrases. So everyone, give me sentences. Go ahead. Try to use the phrases. Any idea? For example, teacher, I'm not sure, but it's very, it is very unlikely that El Salvador will go. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good example. Now, if you want to refute that, you can talk to your classmate and say, yeah, I totally agree. Or, mm, I'm not pretty sure about it, but as far as I know, and you continue talking. Right? So mm, for example, it's possible to play. Uh -huh. no, continue, I doubt continue. it. I doubt it. Uh, I doubt it because don't have a condition. Uh, the stadium is, I don't know who say a stadium in English. The stadium? stadium? The stadium because we, we don't, we haven't a stadium. Mm, we don't have. We don't have, we don't have a stadium. Exactly, pretty good. Mm -hmm. So I just want you guys to try to give your opinion about what is going to happen. Remember that in these scenarios, we are not pretty sure, okay? We just have an idea, but we are not completely sure, okay? So uh, talking about the next World Cup, for example, mm, as far as I know, Brazil has a good chance to win because, ah, you know, Argentina won't longer have Messi or they have the better soccer player. So try to give details, but include the phrases that we just studied. Is it clear? Yes? ¿Se entiende la activity? Yes. Everybody? Pretty good. Okay, I'm going to send it on WhatsApp's groups and we are going to discuss these scenarios. Use the phrases, everyone, that's the goal. If your classmate doesn't use the phrases, tell them, hey, try to use them, okay? I'm sending it on WhatsApp's group. You can see it there. Let me just create the groups. One second. I know that there are some listeners, everyone. So I want to everybody try to participate, please. If you are in a group that nobody's talking, please just let me know and I will switch you to another team. Let's see, let's see. And remember, zero Spanish. I don't want to listen to any Spanish word. Okay, let's go to work. Do your best. Hello. Hi. Hi, Adriana. Hi, Lucy. 
Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. As far as I know, or unlikely to happen in the next pandemic. The weather for the weekend. <laughs> Okay, everyone, let's start. I have Nelson, Adriana, and Lucy. Go ahead. What topic, uh, what, what topic will choose? About the next World Cup, Soccer World Cup, or? Next president. The next World Cup. Okay. I'm not really good with football, but about oh, you, Nelson. Okay, weather for the weekend. The okay. next World Cup is, uh, I think, uh, this topic is is a little difficult to talk to talk. So the weather for the weekend. Um, know, whatever you want. The weather for weekend. Mm, very unlikely. As far as as far as we know, the weather of the, the weather of of in the weekend maybe it's gonna be rain rainy because we have the yesterday and today uh this kind of weather so it's probable that we can have this kind of weekend this kind of weather what do you think well okay. maybe. my concern and sorry uh, as, uh, as I, my knowledge, I think, and that is be true, that is because we are starting um, the rainy conditions, the rainy weather. Yeah. And um, I doubt um, that raining in the day, this in my, in my city, in my case, the case is not possible 100 percent but and it's very likely that your your opinion is probably yes, for me it's very it's very un, unlikely that they can will be rain for the weekend why i don't know because i saw the the weather Last, last day, last weekend, last month, mm -hmm. or this month. Strange. Yes, for me it's very unlikely. Unlikely. So we got Holman here, so you can ask him to. Okay, hello Holman. Hello, hello, Holman. Hi. We are talking about the weather for the weekend. What do you think about it? Okay. Um. Or if mm. you... If you you can select like another topic if you don't don't want to take it, the weather for the weekend. 
Uh, no, I don't know really. Uh, I don't know actually. Um, um, Would you like to talk about the next World Cup or the next presidential election? Or the next pandemic? I would like to say this person. I imagine, I suppose. Beach soccer is Oh, yes, beach mm. soccer. They are good. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes, 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 of course. We are yes, good. I know. Yes, yes, and beach soccer, they are good team, but because it's the, I think that the, the the people that involved in the in the beach soccer is is other than the soccer yeah, in El yeah. Salvador, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next question is the next presidential election in your country or elsewhere. <laughs> the next president election mm. in your country. As far as I know, the next presidential election in El Salvador, uh, I, I think that the president, they can't re-election again because the love in El Salvador is just one period, as far as I know. <laughs> <laughs> but, all, but also, as far as I, as I know, there is a, a, a probability that it's going to be, it will be a re-election. <laughs> exactly. But as, as, a, as a far as I know, that the, the, love, the love, yeah, the love in El Salvador, mm -hmm. the love that the, the, uh, the, that we have in the, in the, in the constitutional, constitu constitutional yeah. law in El Salvador, yeah. con, uh -huh, constitutional, Constitutional law is that the the president can't re-election and the for two periods, just one, and they they and then they have to stop and then in the next period you can apply again. But sequency or or the or the or 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 the fall of the period, mm -hmm. as far as I know, is not possible. But in El Salvador, it's always. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's all will happen it, or maybe happen because the, the president that we have is it's a little bit mm -hmm. um, crazy I don't know <laughs> it's a politic I don't talk about politic religion and, and football <laughs> yeah. okay and you yeah. Fatima or, or Hector what do you think no it's only, only, only in the politic and football is not good good uh, conversation with the friends <laughs> or with family because it's very uh, passion <laughs> exactly yeah you know? I love uh, it <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't. okay go I ahead don't. Fatima sorry sorry I don't know I <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to to talk about polit politic in the but, next yeah but what do you think the next presidential election in general um The best of my knowledge is the next presidential election to win my president, <laughs> <laughs> my actual president. Are you shallow? <laughs> <laughs> no, the president are some good things and we have a, a lot of uh, safe now i think that they that the government now have a a good themes for El salvador yes. yes there is a lot of advantage and disadvantage as yes all, yes. all in the life 
Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, they they have a, a different opinion and different yeah. kind of, of, of point of view that the, the, the people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the next one is the, next the weather one. for the weekend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the only one. Is in no in. Each, each can can give a reason. For example, because he has all the power of the government. And then you can give a, a, a reason. Herman can give a reason. That is a a, a, a reason. Yes, I give a reason, and and you can give another reason. Other reason, uh, maybe he's doing the things, working, working very good. Okay, and Ivan can give another reason. I I don't doubt I don't doubt for the next president is Nayib Bukele because the he's make he's make uh, he's make a uh, more more beneficials for the people. Uh, in in different areas, uh, in the health, in the security, is uh as I yeah, as a far I, I know uh, the people is is some uh, is is happy for the actions is is what is so uh, is so is is so so happy happy oh happy happy mm -hmm. is so happy for the actions i think the same okay um I don't know what more. I don't know. So is is very unlikely that another president or that another person will be the next president. It's very yes. unlikely. Yes, because. Uh... What option we are we uh, we have, um, arena and FMLN, uh, very bad options for the president. For example, uh, Chino Flores, <laughs> he is a crazy man. Who is uh, Chino Flores? Chino Flores is a, a candidate. For the president, uh, for for the FMLN, yeah, Chino. <laughs> the president se, eh, le dicen Chino Pérez. El de de no es de, no es presidente, ¿cómo se le? El candidato, candidate, candidate, candidate. Yes, yes, he's. Uh -huh. Mm, okay. All right. Time's up. Let's go back. Let's go back. All right. We are going to wait for everyone. 
Some of your classmates are still in the breaking rooms. All right, all right. Let's see, easy or difficult to express our opinions using uncertainly words. What do you think? Difficult. Difficult? Uh -huh, everyone? I think you have to use the, I don't know, is, is adjective or the words would. Would. I like would. For, for possibilities. Possibilities. Okay. Yes. You can combine. There's no problem at all. Because I would or you wouldn't. Exactly. Because remember, these scenarios are just for possibilities. We are not 100% sure about it. Now, I liked it. Some teams I was listening to, you were trying to use the phrases. That's great. And be careful with some little details that we are going to discuss. But before discussing them, I'm going to check attendance. So when you listen to your names, say present. Adriana Escalante. Adriana. Present, present. Okay, very good. Uh, Carlos Abrego. Carlos Abrego. Christian Alexander. Present Okay, Erika Jasmine. Oh, she's listener, sorry. Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Herman Alexander. Present teacher. Okay, Hector Francisco. Present. Pretty good. Isabel Hernandez. Present. Okay. Ivan Guzman. Present. Um, Jamie Raquel. Present. Okay. Holman Saul. Present. Okay. Lucy Natalie. Present. Okay. Um, Magdalene, well, Magdalene is listener too. Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Okay. Nelson Antonio. Present. Okay. Oscar Armando. Oscar Armando, Rosalina Alvarado. All right, pretty good. Okay, let's see some little details that I was listening when we were in the breaking rooms. And you tell me if they are correct or not. Okay, imagine that we already know each other, right? We've been together for some days already. So if I enter to the breaking room and I see my friend, can I say, hey, nice to meet you or nice to meet you too? Can I say that? What nice do you think? Nice to see you. Ah, very good. Look, when I say nice to meet you or nice to meet you too, in this case is when we are talking about the first time okay so the first day that we meet each other we became friends okay the first time we can say nice to meet you in this case because it's not the first time instead of saying nice to meet you we can say nice to see you okay we are oops I'm going to change it here. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Nice to be with you. Nice to talk to you. Okay. Can I say in the weekend? On the weekend. Ah, on the weekend. That is the one. Be careful. A good things. With OS. Okay, here you have two options. If you are talking in singular, you have to say a good thing. If you are talking in plural, you have to say good things. So you decide, okay? He is make more. What do you think? He is make more. Is making? 
Ah, Maybe. much better. Yes. Remember, if you have the verb to be and then you have another verb, ing. ing he form. is making. making. Exactly. What is the pronunciation of this word? Doubt. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. Easy, guys. Imagine that the letter B is not there. Letter B is silence. So the pronunciation will be like, how can I spell it? Doubt. Okay. Similar of this. Doubt. doubt. So if I doubt. say it, what I can do is to link the sound. So I will say, I doubt it. I doubt it. Even you can change the letter T for a letter R. So we can say, I, would, I doubt it. Okay. But in this case, just doubt. Wow. Letter B doesn't sound. Okay. And the last one, people is happy. Are happy. Are, are, are ah, happy. Plural. Be careful, everyone. Be careful. All right. So little details. So far, so good because you were using the phrases. So keep practicing them. Don't forget the meaning for those phrases. Tomorrow we will continue practicing because unfortunately today we don't have more time. So the winner for tonight is... Mirna. <laughs> so Mirna, you had to stay. The rest of you guys, okay. you can go to sleep. Work on the platform, please. Try to advance. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Good Goodbye. Night. Good night. Good night. Everyone. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. See you tomorrow. All right. Hello, Birna. How are you? Hello. I'm good. Good. Thank you. And you? How are you? I'm are great. You tired? <laughs> yeah. Are you? Yeah. Are you tired? A little bit. Yes. Always. All the time. I think that I'm tired. But Every it's day. Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. Imagine it's Tuesday. Oh yeah. My we have three more days. <laughs> I know. I know. Let's resist. Let's resist a little bit. Yeah. Again. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, uh, you know, this moment is to clarify some questions that you may have about the class, about the topics, or about the platform. So, this is your moment. No, teacher, I don't have any question about the class. I think that the class, uh, you're willing, you, you try to do more things with, with us, because I think that it's important to talk a lot uh, in this level. And I I like that the 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 structure that this class have because last last course for example uh, we don't have time to speak or or speak with timer or a pressure or thinking about the the ideas because is we are thinking all the time in translate that in English to Spanish and. Spanish. In, but uh, I think that this exercise, that this this level is good for us, and and hope that we will improve the the speaking, because I think that in my case that the the grammar, I think that I have a, a lot of mistakes in grammar. But when you try to speak or listen, that I just say or listen music in, in English or try to to read to read books and is is we will improve. Yes. And the platform I no, I don't have any question. Just the, the detail that when try to do the the exercise, some exercise are uh, is is they have like some yeah, mistakes. Yeah, but you yeah, but you say that it's okay. And no, <laughs> I don't have, <laughs> I don't have right. more things. Just I'm happy the that the methodology that we have in this course because I think that we have more opportunity to speak. Yes, and, it's and important. That's 
And that's the idea. I know in the beginner's levels, if you remember, I mean, you didn't speak a lot, right? Because in beginners, it's like you are learning, you are getting all the information. And the idea in intermediate is to develop that information, to talk. So I hope, right, all of you do your best in order to improve. Actually, you are doing now. If you see you're talking, you sound more confident actually when you talk and you are applying mm -hmm. the vocabulary. So that is something that I like. You always try to apply the vocabulary and I know that it's not always easy, right? Yes, <laughs> it's not easy, but we will try. Yes, I and try. Yes. Yeah. Because it's new vocabulary or it's new phrases that is not useful or common in our because we we don't speak English all, all the time just in two hours that we are connected yes and that is the most difficult thing we are here just two hours the time is very short and if you don't practice during the day I mean imagine just for tomorrow if you didn't practice during the day by tomorrow, it is difficult to remember the phrases. It is difficult to remember the words that I had to use. It's very complicated. So, yeah, if, no, if no, you will see on Monday, for example. <laughs> I never yeah. remember anything that the last week. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I know that is difficult. So, but we are trying. We are here and. Keep trying it because you are doing great. Let's try to use the time that we have here, even when the time is short. Let's try to take advantage about it. Every time that we go to the breaking room, let's continue participating, okay? Because that's yes. the only way that we are going to learn. Yes, definitely. Of course, <laughs> teacher. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. All right. Uh, any other questions or comments that you may have? No, just to say that the, this Tuesday I'm going to be a listener if I can. I'm going to try to connect because I have a meeting. Yeah, I have a meeting and I can. I, I I'm going to try, but I but I can't. I'm not sure that, okay. that I can to 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 connect. But if I can, I'm going to be a listener. If not, I have to. To lose the class. <laughs> <laughs> to lose the class. To lose the class. <laughs> All right. So I hope you can. So you don't affect your attendance. Um, because remember that that is important. So try to connect at least at listener. Okay. 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 Pretty I'm good. going to try. Excellent. Okay. Okay, Mirna, you are doing great. Keep going, please. Continue doing it like that. You are doing awesome and you are improving. Keep participating, okay? Okay, thank you. You're thank very you welcome. Have, have a good night. Thank you, you too. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, bye.